Uh, I've been a wheelwright for about uh, 16 years and following the footsteps of previous three generations of my family. Going back to my great grandfather, he was a wheeler in the First World War for the army and he, he'd learned before that and then got put into a trade when he joined the army. Uh, I do this job because it's a passion, uh, really, because I love what I do. I love creating things by hand and working with the tools. And I, and I love getting out and teaching people about what we do as well. I hope that in the future we can uh, train more wheelwrights. We've already trained uh, a couple of apprentices in the UK. Uh, so if we can keep a healthy population of wheelwrights going and keep the skills alive, I hope it will sustain into well into the future. A traditional wheel is made up of three different timbers. Um, we, we use these traditional materials because of the, the strengths and abilities in the, in the place in the wheels. So it's quite important to follow this. Um, in, in a traditional wheel we would use oak, ash and elm. So we use elm for the nave or hub of the wheel, we use oak for the spokes and ash for the fellies. There's only a handful of wheelwrights left in the UK nowadays and there's not many left on the planet so it's really important for the ones that are left is to, to pass on our skills.